How's it going guys? Thank you for watching the first video that I'm posting here on Knife Reviews 365. Now some of you might recognize me from my main channel, Chemo365, and all I'm doing is taking the knife reviews from that channel and making them easier to watch here. So what we're going to do is take a step back in time and begin with the knife videos that I made way back in 2013 for GK & Co. Kukuris from Nepal. These are legitimate, fantastic, beautiful kukuris. We're going to have a look at the American Eagle model and the Chukri. I've been using this thing for years and I absolutely love it. And as always guys, if you want to purchase any of the knives mentioned in this video, make sure you check out the links in the description below. So as you can see here, there are three kukris on here. Um, we're going to be talking about mostly the American Eagle, but just really quickly, I had some questions about, you know, how do you tell the difference between all the kukris here? Uh, just really quickly, if you, if you happen to be looking at the American Eagle kukri and the chukri, uh, here you go. Here's some differences. Uh, you can see the finger guards are almost identical style. This one's a little bit longer. They both have identical finger grooves kind of cut into them. You got three rivets versus two rivets. This handle is a little bit longer. Both of them roll down into the American Eagle pommel. And guys, just a quick note, this thing is nasty. If you smack somebody in the skull with this, they will die. You know, you'll fracture your skull very easy. Just a great impact device to have at the end of your knife here. Uh, and as you can see, they both have lanyard holes. So you can put a, uh, maybe some paracord through it to lash it to your wrist when you're chopping. I'm going to flip these up so you can see that they're both full tang. They run all the way down. You can see the handle here is a little bit more shiny than the handle here. Uh, and that's because this is made out of water buffalo horn. They might have dyed it black. You can see a little bit of white coming through here. Uh, this one's made out of rosewood. Uh, and I got to tell you, I have kind of small hands. Uh, but this handle just feels better. Uh, in my hand. It could be because it's a little bit larger, but I prefer this handle style as well. It just looks sick, man. If I could get this handle on that knife, I'd be stoked. Uh, and to be honest, you might be able to customize this. I'd give them a quick call, uh, you know, call the customer care guys and see if they can order you one. It'll probably lengthen the amount of time that you have to wait for it, but if that's what you want, that's what you want. Uh, really quickly, uh, mentioning the full tang, I'm going to get my fingernail on here. That's my pinky fingernail, just to show you the thickness of the spine right up until the angles down here it doesn't really taper much until it hits right about here it gets a little bit thinner uh, you can see that it maintains its thickness all the way down to the blade point um, that's kind of important because when you compare it to the chukri which starts off as the same thickness here again on the spine when it hits here it just gets scary it tapers down so thin uh, as i flip this on the side you can see that there's that swedge that i mentioned um, in the last video and if I put these back to back, you can see that the American Eagle has a more of a traditional uh, kukri angle versus the swedge here. Um, and when you look at it, here I'm going to go uh, finger guard to finger guard here, and I'm going to drag them down just so you can see that you know the angles here are already off because the blade lengths are different. They're both listed at 10 inches, but as you can see, the American Eagle on the left is longer, so you have a longer, thicker bigger belly blade here I'd say that this would be a better chopper than this one so this would be your uh, shorter uh, pointier switch blade for stabbing so you got your chopper in this half and your hammer in this half either way I wouldn't want to be anywhere near one of these when they're coming down uh, but there you go there's a little bit about the American Eagle 10 inch and the Chukri uh, 10 inch in case you are looking at both of those those are the differences uh, let me get little brother back in here so we can kind of review both of these guys. Put that on the top there. Okay. Um, all of these blades are going to be made from leaf springs, high carbon steel, basically recycled metal from the leaf springs on vehicles from Nepal. Um, here are the measurements. You have a 5 inch blade here with a 4 inch handle, roughly about 9 inches here as you can see. Let me move that up a little bit so you can see that. Um, this is rosewood though. Uh, the bigger brother does have the horn. Uh, water buffalo horn uh, for the handle uh, but as you can see it maintains its thickness just like its bigger brother you know very thick spine full tang running all the way through there's the rosewood handle same finger guard same finger grooves here same American Eagle pommel with the uh, lanyard hole there uh, and it's just big enough that uh, four inch handle to reverse grip and stick your thumb on there uh, you might be able to use it as a concealed um, uh, protection self-defense blade uh, up to you what you want to run uh, again 10 inch blade up here uh, 5 inch handle so 15 inch overall length just ridiculously long um, I did have a question on 
sharpness because I didn't do, I haven't done any cutting videos on the Chukri yet, but let me just use the 5 inch to kind of show you a quick paper cut test. Pretty good. Not bad. That's right out of the box. So for those of you guys wondering, you know, how sharp they are, for me that's pretty sharp. Uh, up to you if you want to make it a little bit sharper. Uh, you know, everybody has their different taste, uh, but that's how they come out of the box. You can see that it's kind of slathered with oil on there. Uh, so if you're worried about it, uh, you know, rusting and shipping, don't because there is a lot of oil on it. If you don't like the oil that's on there, remove it, replace it with something that you do like. Um, shipping wise, they do come with this uh, kind of material linen paper shipping and it's wrapped in yards of bubble wrap so don't worry about it being damaged and even if it is don't worry they're gonna take care of you like I said the customer service is pretty fantastic um, and again shipping was about three days if the blades are in stock uh, let's go over the sheets here really quickly there is the five inch sheath uh, to me again don't know much about leather work but I, I'm impressed it's got the leather tip down here there's your belt loop at the top. I'm gonna to flip it over so you can see the riveting here. Uh, and there's a the stitching. I don't see really any evidence of um, you know sloppy gluing anywhere. Look at that. And that is kind of a brown red color. Um, and that goes with that guy here. Here is the sheath for the 10 inch. Uh, and very much like the Chukri. Riveted on that side. And it's removable in case you wanna. Uh, carry it reverse grip or if you're left-handed uh, there's some of the stitching and it gets down into the uh, the belt loop here so if you want to lash it to your leg you can do that as well uh, it does have two notches on the top here uh, because it does come again with the uh, carta and the check mech for field sharpening and detailed work in the field uh, so again when you get the bigger knives it's kind of like you get three blades for the price of one uh, going over the Rockwell harness again, I think these are going to be the same no matter what blade you buy from them, but uh, just so that it's in the video, spines coming in at a 22 to 25 Rockwell, belly at 45 to 46, uh, and the edge is hardened to 58 to 60 Rockwell, so, you know, they're not just throwing blades out there to throw them out there, they're actually putting some quality behind that, and again, it's all listed on the website. Um, but that's it guys, that's the uh, uh, end of the, the video review there, so if you guys have any comments or questions about the blades or how I've ordered them or even experience I had about talking with the customer care guy, because I've talked to the same guy a couple of times, or always the same guy, um, couldn't be more thrilled. Uh, anyway guys, uh, it's been fun, thanks for uh, tuning in to the quick cook review, I'll see you guys next time. This has been Brother Kimo from Real Hawaii, Audi.